Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Outlet Playoffs. This is your caster, Hodohori. I will be in charge of the pregame match here today between the Glock Gang and Band By The Way. Joining as your casters for this exciting event will be Steidl and Ad. How are you both doing today? Hello. Fantastic. Oh. Howdy. I'm doing wonderful. All right. Like, good to hear. So let's ta take a look at the playoff brackets here uh, for this matchup. It will be Deadlock Gang here playing Band By The Way. This is your 2-3 matchup in the Outlet playoffs. The winner of this match will play the winner of WSOL and Los Muertos at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, so it will be a big match here. So let's get started here with the Deadlock Gang. And Ad, tell me a little bit about the Deadlock Locking. All right. So Deadlock Gang, this team that's very, very proud of their aggressive play style. Uh, they actually clinched their playoff spot by coming in first in the first half of season one of Allet. Their team story, as they've given to us, is that the team was founded by Branjo Vectrius, a superhero in Danger Man. Deadlock Gang, now Blackjack Gaming, is a close-knit group based on aggression by pressing W. We have a lot of Diamond graduates, which, which messed with our synergy, but we're ready to clean up the last few teams of the league. Uh, I think they're really, really excited to play today. I think they're confident that they're going to get this W. And I think they're just uh, really excited to be be here playing for the, for the prize. Yeah. And as you can see here, their best maps will be a couple of maps here in the later stages. It will be Hanamura here is their best map at 7-1. and one. Uh, So, like, we should be able to see a really good match from them if they make it that far. This is a best of five. So you'll notice that the map pool for the maps here are Route 66, Elios, Hollywood, Hanamura, Gibraltar with a tiebreaker on Lee Jong Tower. Let's introduce the players from the Deadlock Gang. Uh, it is Danger Man who's going to be your main tank, uh, followed by... Oops, excuse me. Uh, uh, gas Roll, who will be off tanking and possibly main tanking also for them, depending on roll swaps. We have Kiri Giri, who will be marked as a support, but is actually going to be DPSing for the Deadlock Gang. Uh, we have Noah Lee, who will be their main tank. Sparkle, who will be uh, playing that off tank role for the Deadlock Gang in rotation. Vectrius, who will be their main off healer. A superhero who is marked as a support but will be playing as the second DPS. So those are your players here for the Deadlock Gang. And now let's take a look at Band By The Way. Steidl, let me know what's up with Band By The Way here. So Band By The Way, that's, that's a team that I respect. They, they call themselves a family because all the players, no one hates each other. They have great synergy with each other. And although some sad news, they do plan on disbanding after Outlet Season 1. The entire team feels like they're going to stay together as that family that they've come through, and that's something important when you're competing um, in events like this. They, they, they know they had a rocky start, but they are here to win it. And uh, they, they have a lot of respect for Deadlock Gang. Oh. I feel like we're going to see a pretty good matchup. All right, let's, hit, let's take a look at the players here from Band By The Way. We have Grumpy Zero, who will be DPSing here for Band By The Way. Uh, and then next we have Loki, who will be their, I think their hitscan specialist. Is that correct? So, yes. Yes, he is. There, and will be rotating in on DPS, followed by Mailman, who will be marked as a support. Sharp Shot to Win, who will be rotating in with Loki, depending on DPS configuration. So Band, by the way, here having some extra subs on the bench. Spook, who will be their backup main tank. And Breath will be their main tank and probably their starter here in the match, followed by Brutal One, who is another marked DPS, along with Destroyer. So, and Eternal Shiva, who will be their main tank for Band, by the way, along with Foxer, who will also be their off-tank starter. So we've seen Foxer and the bombs there that have been absolutely fantastic for Band, by the way. And that's your starting lineup here for... Uh, Band, by the way, in this 2-3 matchup of the Owlet uh, playoff tournament. When we come back, both teams will be ready and ready to go. It will be Route 66. And on the call on play-by-play, -play, it will be Steidl on color. It will be Ad. So let's get ready, folks, for this great matchup between these two teams. And once we get back, it will be Route 66. Stay tuned.
Traveling to Route 66. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Scenic Route 66. Oh, this is one of my favorite maps, Ed. It's a, it's a classic map. Uh, Big Earls, can't go wrong. Best gas station in, I'll say, the country. I know it's a bold statement, but I stand by it. I mean, it's 24-hour service. You can't really get much better than that. You cannot beat that. Not to mention, you're just down the road from what happens to be a fantastic diner. At the panorama. Uh, it's just... And, you know, there's a little bit of, like, falling train debris or whatever, but that's that's not the important part. That's not the focus. The focus Think of it part. as a uh, cluttered decoration. It's it's an aesthetic, you know? You have to get it. <laughs> Gotta, you, you, you had to be there, which McCree was, but, you know, that's a, that's a talk for a YouTube video. We're here to talk about Band by the Way and Deadlock Gang matching up in our first corner final game. And this is—I feel like this is going to be a bit of a bit of a shootout. It's going to be pretty pretty fun to watch. Yeah, this is going to be a. I'm expecting this to be a really close match. Um, going to be lots of big plays coming out from both sides. Uh, this is, you know, this is do or die. We're in playoffs. It's single elimination. If you don't win, you go home, and nobody wants to go home. <clears throat> Certainly not. So what's what's your take? Who's uh who's dugout are you playing in this time? Um can have a can have biased admins here. We've been used to that before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um I am in the dugout of the viewers because I want the best match possible. And I think these two teams are potential to give us the best match of the day. Well, I certainly believe with you on that part. <clears throat> so so we've defending, got, oh, you go for it. All right, uh, <laughs> defending first is going to be Deadlock Gang. Um, the band, by the way, has had the higher seed from the regular season, so they were allowed to pick whether they wanted to attack or defend for the first map. They chose to attack. We're seeing Deadlock Gang take a very ambitious defense. 
they play a playing a little bit of a sneaky strategy. You got double shields, they got the Bastion, so they're gonna have a lot of resilience. Plus, you've got Danger Man on that Zarya, building up a high charge. This is a very interesting strategy. I don't think we've ever seen anything like this during the regular season. And by the way, won't be ready for it. <clears throat> but hey, now's the time to pull out all the stops. So here they go. Spook's gonna be the first victim as he gets in there. Foxer, however, with the defense matrix, able to chew up a lot of that Bastion damage, allow them to kind of reset. And now uh, they're in a bit of a tricky spot because they've seen the strategy, they know you're there. So ben, by the way, has the ability to get in, but Superhero will find Grumpy Zero as he tries to get in there to get some chip damage on. Spooky also going to be falling. And Ben, by the way, having a little bit of an issue here with breaking up that defense. They did they knew it was there. But weren't able to fully fully counter it. Yeah, I think we're gonna see some changes come out of Ben, by the way, in order to counter this very aggressive defense. Yeah, well, we've seen Spook move off of the Winston. He's onto the Reinhardt, needs to get a more sturdy shield, be a bigger presence for to, to mitigate all of that damage coming out from a superhero. Deadlock Hang is holed up into the mine shaft. <clears throat> now, that's a big kill right there. Gas Roll went down. The Dragon Blade will come out from Loki. So he grabs himself two. Fox are going to grab her one as well. Not one of those Foxer bombs that we've heard of, but definitely a crucial kill. Ben, by the way, cleaning up the fight. Um, we see Grumpy Zero already has Pulse Bomb up, ready to go. In case Deadlock tries to set up with that Bastion again. Oh, he's gonna go ahead and throw it in early! Will grab Dangerman, but it's a bit of a last ditch effort to get the defense. Trying to find that kill onto the enemy Moira. No, Lely gonna go ahead and pop that Coalescence, keep herself alive, get some damage as well as the tank formation comes out of a superhero. Looking to find himself a couple of kills and he'll find Loki right there. Fox is still holding on to that Foxer Bomb. He got hit by that shatter, so you're not going to be able to use it just yet. Mailman will fall to a superhero, and Ban, by the way, has to retreat from this. Castrol getting taken down by Eternal Sheep's Mercy. But we will see Fox Bomb come in. Let's see what he gets. Oh, nothing just yet. The entire team of Deadlock Gang was able to hide out with behind that billboard and inside of that cafe. Danger Man getting pretty low. He gets taken out by Grumpy Zero, doing a great job of getting those assassination kills on those low health heroes. That lock gang is struggling to get value out of the Bastion. Ben, by the way, is doing a really good job of not letting them set up too much in a bunker. Yeah, they've been alternating the pressure between Loki and Foxer to allow them to use the Reflect and Defense Matrix accordingly. And it's been doing a great job, but Loki once again, second blade, double kill, no problem. Grumpy Zero gonna clean up Danger Men and Foxer right behind Just Defense Matrix, those last minute grenades. Yeah, big blade coming out from Loki to cl close out the point. Now, Ben, by the way, is going to be looking to get some momentum going here in the second point, because if they get stuck right around these doors, it could be very difficult for them to come back in and recontest. I've seen a lot of teams get stuck here, and they do not want to do that as the first map in the playoffs. Taking the fight to a good start, though, Ad. They took a superhero, changed him off the Bastion, put him onto the fair. Now they've got a pharmacy with Noah Lely off of that, that Moira. The only thing to counter them is that Widowmaker for Lokai, so as long as a superhero can keep out of the way, he's going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. So we're seeing a bit of a trench warfare coming out on the payload. <laughs> Lokai did get that hitch on the superhero, but a quick response coming out from ben, from Deadlock Gang. Not to stop the Foxer Bomb coming in. Spook grabs Noah Lely, now you lost your mercy. Deadlock Gang not able to do so. Headshot from Loki onto Vectrius just to make sure that both supports are in the ground. Yeah, Ben, by the way, is getting some momentum going. Loki is definitely feeling feeling it on Widow today. And we got a lot of ultimates on board for Deadlock Gang, and a lot of good ultimates. They have a Shatter, they have a Graviton, and that sound barrier from Vectrius is going to be crucial in the upcoming fight. A spooky gets up on that prime evil, or sorry. <laughs> a lot of ults coming out from both sides. Graviton gets Melman, but he transits in response. And yeah, Foxer's doing a lot of a lot of work trying to track on a superhero who's going to fall to the Valking Eternal Shiva. 
She's gonna go ahead and pop up there and take care of that Pharah herself. But the res comes through from Noelle and Mailman falls because of it. Sparkle does take Spook out of the fight, and once again we see Fox are trying to back out of the fight, brings her mercy with her. Yeah, we'll see a stabilization from Deadlocking. Oh, but a big pick coming in from Loki onto Vectrius's Lucio. I think Ben, by the way, probably try to get a little bit aggressive off that pick, push in quickly, because yeah. Deadlock Gang cannot resurrect it. Yeah, it was perfect timing. No Lely's res went about eight seconds when it happened, so just a little bit too much time. When you initiating back in and immediately, Superhero does take Loki out, but not before he gets his piece of the pie, taking Noah Lely out of the fight as well. Mailman trying to do his own as a DPS Zenyatta out there, taking a Superhero out of the fight. Danger Man with a kill onto Eternal, and now Deadlock Gang seems to have a little bit of a handle on this defense. That forgets a little bit hard to eat through, and as long as you have something in the sky to protect you, that Widowmaker's not going to be focusing. Yeah, Deadlock the Gang is doing a fantastic job here of holding this defense. Ben, by the way, only has about 45 seconds left. They really need to make something happen. Mailman holding on. Yeah. Mailman has that uh, transcendence, which is going to be crucial in the next fight, but not if Superhero goes down that quickly. Loki with once again the reliable headshot onto a Superhero, taking out not only the aerial threat, but the threat of a barrage. Noah Lely trying to get the res, gets the res off, so Superhero's back in the fight, but not for long as Loki once again seeks retribution. And Colonel Shiva, you're doing a great job of keeping your team alive within this fight, but the grab comes out from Sparkle, gets almost the entire team, but the damage is not there to follow through. Primal Rage from Spruit keeping his team alive. Mailman now using that Transcendence to do the same. They have wall hacks away, knowing the respawns are coming in. Ban, by the way, having the upper hand in this fight as Gas Roll goes town. Losing your main tank is a horrible thing within a fight. No res for him either. Superhero. Coming back into the fight now, there's the barrage, finally. It's taken out immediately by the Zenyatta and is only able to grab one as Foxer takes Sparkle out of the fight. And Band, by the way, pays the road to point two. Deadlock is... Gastrol's coming back in, just to contest a little bit. Bit of a stagger. Just a little, little touch. <laughs> so, point three is a different speed. Oh, look at getting a huge pick on Vectrius very early. I don't think Ben, by the way, will be able to capitalize on it, considering how close the spawn is, and Cart's just moving through the doors now. And a lot of changes on the side of Ben, by the way, Ad. They're, they're going up to a completely different strategy here. Loki getting another huge pick. Yeah, Superhero's having a lot of trouble staying in the sky with Loki looking out for it. Danger Man does get the kill onto Grumpy Zero, taking their Brigitte out of the equation, which can do a lot for your Reinhardt. Allow him to be a little bit more strategic with how he plays against Spook. Gaswell doing a good job of trying to mitigate what kind of swings Spook can land on him. Spook, however, very close to getting a shatter, gets the upper hand out through his healing. And as Loki grabs Vectorus, they take out the main tank and main healer in about one swipe. Spook, once again, doing a wonderful job. Loki coming in big with a kill on the Danger Man. The shatter getting blocked, blocked by the small shield of that forget as Noah Lely tries to bring Danger Man back into the fight so that they can still hold on. The payload, however, hasn't stopped for very long at any point during this fight. Loki will once again take Superhero out of the sky as Foxer looks to get the kill on a gas on a gas roll. Spook and Vectris fighting, and Vectris going on the bottom for that one. Spook gonna take Sparkle out as well. And that's gonna be an easy win here after a hard-fought point in overtime for Band, by the way. Band, by the way, will finish the map with no time left in the bank, but still, completing this map is in and of itself, you know, you're happy with that. That third point is very difficult to finish out. Especially if you get stopped in point two in the streets phase. That, street, Spook, that streets phase can be can be just an acid pool sometimes. Definitely. A lot of teams get stuck there. But towards the, at the end of that fight there, Spook had a fantastic block on the Earth Shatter and Loki picking the Riptire coming in was really big for them, and it might have saved the point. It was, it was, it was close. It was, it was so close. And, and if that Earthshatter had landed, it would have gotten at least four members. So now we're gonna see if Deadlock Gang can bring the heat on their attack.
And Ben, by the way, taking a safe a safe bet here. Look, I currently sitting on the Widowmaker just in case a superhero tries that pharmacy bit one more time. But that's not what we're seeing right now from Deadlock Gang. They're looking to play fast and hard here. Yeah, Sombra, the Sombra pick from a superhero is traditionally really good on this map. Uh, this used to be, back in the old days of Sombra, this was one of the few maps where she actually would get run. Um, this and Volskaya being, this Volskaya and Horizon really being Sombra's playgrounds. Mm -hmm. You so, have both of those big health packs right next to each other. You can really build up the ultimate. Yeah, so we're going to be interested to see how much value a superhero gets out of this and danger man on the doom fist that's always a fun character to watch yeah so superhero already with the invisibility remind you it's no longer time she can stay invisible for however long they want to and he's just kind of sitting up on the high ground waiting for them to get distracted by the other members of his team going into that tunnel he's going out after the Widowmaker. he needs to be careful if it's too close it's gonna get detected. Yeah, a lot of teams have used Sombra as a forward scout. They'll sit and spawn and wait for Sombra to tell them what the defense is running. The dive comes in from Gas Roll onto Eternal Shiva, doesn't get her, moves on towards Lokai. And good move as Dangerman joins him in that pursuit of Lokai. Able to hook out of it though. Dangerman getting danger close to death here. Gonna get taken out by the one they dove. And it was almost executed perf perfectly. But Lokai getting out of the way, kind of threw a wrench in the works. Yeah, Vectrius just pushing the card along uncontested. Uh, surprisingly gets out of that fight alive. Good job. <clears throat> so we're going to see um, Ban, by the way, just set right back up with, wh with where they were. Using that Arisa shield, having a shield every now and then. But a superhero going to be challenging Lokai. He will be going back to that Pharah. They will have that pharmacy once again. Dangerman swapped over to the Tracer to help the dive and then also give more pressure on a Lokai, who gets a pick on Superhero regardless. Yeah, and if, if I'm if I'm a Superhero, I would have learned last go, go round that Lokai isn't going to be missing his shots too much. Mailman, however, going to take on the same kind of resilience, taking Dangerman out of the fight with a headshot. We're going to see Band, by the way, push Deadlock Gang all the way back to spawn yet again, and now they have the ultimate advantage to boot. Mailman trying to prove that Widowmaker isn't the only sniper on Ban by the Way's team right now. <laughs> so we see Danger Man change up to the Reinhardt. Now they're running a triple tank. Brian Winston Diva. Very interested to see how this is going to work out. Yeah. yeah, they go directly into the fight. Supercharger does get dropped, but it's immediately taken out. But Grumpy Zero has something to say about that. Foxer wants the last bit of it, but a two for Grumpy and a single one onto the support for Foxer. As Dead Band, by the way, just demolishes this team fight, using almost everything to do it, though. Yeah, a lot of ults. They still have Transcendence in the bank, which is going to be very important for them to have. Uh, it's one of the most powerful ults in the game, and it it's one of the rare few ultimates that by itself can win a point for you. Yep. Hopefully there's no McCree, and in this case there is not, and Grumpy Zero's already used his tire. So there won't be any burst damage to get through that Transcendence. So it's pretty much a, a safe fight for them when we come into it next. Ben, by the way, staying on the high ground, making sure that they have complete control of this fight as Gastrol does dive in to start the fight off. Pops the Primal Rage to stay alive, but it's not for long as Lokai feeds with the headshots. Danger Man does get a crucial charge onto Eternal Shiva. Ben, by the way, losing their Mercy, losing their res, losing their ability to bring somebody back from the fight. Grumpy Zero will take Danger Man out, so now we've lost the main tank for Deadlock Gang. And by the way, now being able to hold strong as Spook is still up on the field with that eternal shield that Arissa has. Mailman taking out Vectress. He says, I'm the only Zinyata that's fit to walk these streets. Boxer and Spook look to clean up the rest of the pile. Vectress does get res, but he has to back out immediately because it's just two supports against the world. Yeah, the overtime is about to start. There's the transcendence from Vectris, making sure that his team can get back to the point for the overtime. Shatter comes out. It does find the Mercy in the fire. The fire strike goes to follow. Grumpy Zero having something to say once again, taking Vectris out of the fight. 
We see Gastrol back out for just a second. Spurgle not able to make it to keep that overtime winning and banned by the way. Gonna go ahead and take our first map. Play of the game. See, play of the game from Lokai. One of these. Uh, this is Genji Blade that closed out point one for them. They're very much in danger of getting stuck here, and this was instrumental in getting them past this point. Definitely, especially with the last couple of strikes that he had there. He didn't he only got one kill per se in the kill feed, but he did get the Reinhardt and the Zarya so low that it was super easy for Foxer to pop some missiles and take them completely out of the fight. Yeah, I think right now Deadlock Gang is missing Fat Mike because Lokai is pretty much uncontested and he is just popping off, doing his job, taking uh taking people out assassin style and Deadlock needs to come up with an answer for it. Yeah, they they, they tried the dive and I'd like to see them continue at it cuz they were very close. Lokai was just able to slip through their fingers. Alright, so we're going to take a short break between maps, maybe get some subs in, and the next map will be Ilios. Hmm, I feel an environmental metal coming. <laughs>
arriving at Ilios. Hello, and welcome to scenic Ilios. This is a place where I would love to go on vacation. Just, you know, like, like just picture me and you, Ad, on the deck of that cruise ship out there, just passing by, seeing a couple people pop off the edge due to a Lucio or an Orissa. Maybe even a Roadhog. Who yeah. knows? <clears throat> Ilios, uh, Ilios Greece has plenty of beautiful sights. You have the, you know, there's the cliffs, there's the architecture, the cruise ship, the mountains, the islands, the giant environmental hazard built into the middle of a capture point, just all the beautiful things. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm a I'm a big big fan of fan of the well. I think you know there's a lot of historical stuff that's happened with this well. Um, so you know, being a history buff myself, you know, I just think it's a the good antique. We need we need we need to make sure that we preserve it over time. <laughs> Yeah, I think the uh, I think the original Spartans actually built this well. Oh yeah, I think I saw that in a movie once. I'm I'm just not sure which one, but you know, I think it was like 299 or something. I thought it was 89, but yeah, yeah, I think we're thinking of the same movie. Yeah, we're on the same page. <laughs> All right, we're gonna kick things off hot and heavy here. No Ferris, so we're not gonna have that. But of course, we are gonna have Lucio's on both sides. So don't be worried, people. We are going to be getting a couple of environmental kills here or there. Spook and the rest of his team going on the right side to avoid getting booped up. But Grumpy Zero getting popped up way in the air. As Van, by the way, tries to push Deadlock Gang into this little corner. Corral them into a spot where it's easy to get damage. And it's going to work out for Grumpy Zero. Taking Kiri out, but he's not going without a fight. As he does trap Eternal Shiva to death. Van, by the way, will capture the point first and start building up that percentage. Yeah, not only do you get the point first, but you get an ultimate advantage. And you're seeing Spook take complete advantage of that right now, popping out that Primal Rage and forcing Vectrius to use a very early sound barrier. If Deadlock Gang can survive through the danger here, they have an Earth Shatter on, though very soon to have that Diva Bomb as well. Mailman taking out Danger Man after he gets that Earth Shatter down so they won't have that ultimate on anymore. Kirigi has the tire, not going to use it just yet, waiting for the right time in the fight, because they have to regroup, they've lost a couple of members. Yeah, Deadlock is going to back out. That was a very long first fight. We're almost up to 40% on the capture point now. Spook is doing a fantastic job on Winston, getting out a lot of damage, which Winstons aren't famous for. Ooh. There goes a, ooh, a good combination. That's Kirigi with the Rip Tire Superhero with that EMP says, no, sir, I'm here to stop what you think you can do. Kirigi's tire will get taken out as Danger Man takes Grumpy Zero out of the fight. Mailman going to return the favor, however, and Fox are finding herself on the left-hand side of the map, ready to get out that Diva Bomb at any given moment. Sparkle in the same position. There goes Foxer Bomb out. But no kills to say. We'll get the remix, which is able to stay in the fight. Sparkle, however, as well as Vectri is going to let her go back to spawn right there. Dangerman taking Eternal Shiva out of the fight, and now we are seeing Deadlock Gang get a bit of a grip within the fight as the superhero and Danger Man decide to go ahead and clean this up, finish it quick, but Mailman's not going out before he mails that letter. Here you're gonna go down into the hole, never to be seen again except for 10 seconds later. Able to hold on to it, Spook getting back into the fight with the Primal Rage. He is trapped, but that's okay. He's got a lot of health to eat through, but he's gonna jump straight into the well with a beautiful hack from Superhero. Fan, by the way, did a fantastic job of stalling that out. They got it all the way up to 98%, and they started losing that fight, I think, somewhere around 60. Yeah, Spook getting back onto the point, jumping around, Mailman riding around on those walls. Those kind of stall tactics are what you need to get you to that position. Superhero getting chased down by the entire band, by the way, team. Oh, but he's... Gonna make it his own, getting that hack in, but nothing happens because of it. They got a little bit too aggressive there. Grumpy Zero, Eternal Shiva, all gonna grab themselves a couple of kills as Noel Ellie tries to get Vectorus back into the fight. And Grumpy Zero, however, has something completely different to say about that. Taking Noel Ellie out, or taking Kirigiri out as Spook takes Noel Ellie out. And there goes Vectorus as well. Now there's no supports banned, by the way, as easy walking onto control at this point. The stun onto the Reinhardt and then the flail. Keeps him off of the point for a little bit longer, and he's able to hit Grumpy Zero all the way into the well for a consolation prize. Here comes the Rip Tire. The attack is out, though, so it's going to get taken down pretty quickly, but not before it grabs Foxer. Ooh. Danger Man skirting death. 
Dangerous charge. Almost got booped into the well there. Vectris as well skirting death. A little bit low on health. No Lily out of the fight. No resurrect for Deadlock Gang in this 3v4. Ben, by the way, able to mitigate their respawns a little bit better. Superhero not able to get the hacks off of Foxer annoying from the behind. Making sure that she cannot hack any members of Ban, by the way. Vector is getting very low on health as he tries to run away, but Spook has something else to say. Superhero does get the hack on the Foxer. It doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Spurkle able to get that D suit, but the Diva Bomb from Foxer is going to come out immediately. And it's going to grab Spurkle as well. Spook grabbing a superhero out of the sky and throwing him down. Earthshatter comes out from Danger Man to try and change the tides of the fight, but a fire strike is not enough as Grumpy Zero takes him out. Spook on to Kirigi once again as Ban, by the way, continues their dominance here with an aggressive hole in this first map. Eternal Shiva celebrating at the bottom of the well. Yeah, that was a really good... Really good just control of the map from Ben, by the way. After they lost the point, they got back in very quickly, took control, and then still had the fight. They didn't even totally clear off Deadlock Gang, but they took control back, and that prevented Deadlock Gang from building up any more percentage and getting closer to potentially turning the map back over to their favor. And they weren't overly aggressive. They knew that they had time to pick at the fight and then come in when they were ready. And when that happened, it was Bad News Bears or Deadlock Gang. So we're gonna go to Lighthouse now. And Deadlock Gang is running a May, which is a very interesting pick. May can be, May can be the stall that you need to keep that point yours or to keep your point neutral. Using a wall well to keep Spook out of the main point. Now there are a lot of doors into that main point, so it's not gonna hold off for very long. But that freeze does go through shield, so Spook's not going to be protected at all. In fact, getting frozen off to the left of the fight, and that is going to allow Deadlock Gang to get a little bit more damage in. But not as much damage as Lokai is. Now McCree being completely dangerous. Already has the Deadeye. Doesn't get anything out of it, but Spook coming up big in the kill feed, taking Spurkle out as she gets desuited there. Coalescence from <clears throat> Noah Lully not coming up to too much, so much. Fox are getting a good charge kill onto a superhero as banned by the way, slowly but surely whittles through the health pool of Deadlock Gang. A lot of ults being invested into this fight, and the control percentage is just building up for Deadlock Gang. Bit of a mirror of what we saw in our last match. And Spoo coming back, has the resurrecting. Rection comes back in, takes out both supports, or at least gets credit for it in the kill feed. Lokai, beautiful shot onto Kirigi, and they're waiting for that May to come out of the ice block there. Good wall to keep herself alive, but it's not going to work for too long. It's mighty low on health as Grumpy Zero blinks in for the assassination. 43% deadlock out of, got out of that, and if you're deadlock and you're okay with that. For a first push, that was really effective, and considering they never really had full control, um, that was pretty good, and they're coming out of it with Almost three ultimates. Ben, by the way, has a lot of ultimates to, to hold on to right now, and they're looking to use them. As Deadlock King tries to find a little bit of an edge here in this fight. The superhero going to the point, hoping to draw a couple people out, but the Deadeye from Lokai is going to take a crucial character out of the game. No Lucio on the board as Grumpy Zero and Spook both grab themselves a couple, but Grumpy Zero haven't used the full spawn to do so. And one after another, the members of Deadlock Gang fall to their death. A bit of a reset as well as Lokai just going insane. <laughs> yeah, and I think Spook took Danger Man for a, for a little swim. <laughs> just two Reinhardts and Grease. What, a, what better love story could you ask for? From the Diva Bomb, Spurgle gonna go ahead and throw hers out. Will find Mailman! So a successful bomb at best. No resurrection for a deadlock. For, or, sorry, for a band, by the way, at the moment. Foxer, however, being a little bit more reserved with her Diva Bomb. Waiting for just the right moment. There's the Death Blossom coming out from Kirigi. It's gonna be eaten up by a defense matrix. They have to be on the point, so there's gonna be a Diva Bomb accompanying it, but the Reinhardt Shield is still up for Danger Man. So they're going to be able to mitigate everything from Foxer's Diva Bomb that time. They have the man advantage now as Grumpy Zero falls to the coalescence of 5v4 on the point. Ban, by the way, not in the best of positions. They do have their Lucio, so they have healing, they have speed, they have boost. Danger Man's going to take that out of the equation as Kirigi and Danger Man 
team up together to take Foxer out. So Ban, by the way, has to give up the point, but at 94% ad, they're not looking in, they're not in a bad position at all. Yeah, they have definitely time to do some dry, do a dry push or two if they want to. Uh, they have they have some time to work with to build up some ultimates. Superhero and another big uh, a good decision here with that May is that that May ultimate covers practically the entire point here. So when it comes when push comes to shove, I'm sure we're gonna see a superhero pop that out. But first we'll see Spook go ahead and grab himself a couple with that Earth Shatter gets booped out of one charge and into another, taking Danger Man out of the fight with him with the help of Grumpy Zero, who will get the headshots onto a superhero whose ultimate, if you didn't see it, got eaten up there by Foxer. Yeah, Foxer, fantastic job there. The Blizzard from May can do wonders for a team trying to stall a point. It either forces the team to get off the point, or you stay there and you get frozen. And then May herself is really, really good at cleaning up frozen kills with her icicle. They removed all the damage drop off. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of damage coming out. That's a Widowmaker in a fur coat with, you know, maybe down a couple inches, but. It's just thick Widowmaker. Yep. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Pure so class. we will see Ban, by the way, take the second map on Ilias. We don't even get to see Ruins. I th personally, I think Lokai is a little disappointed. Oh, I he's agree. Very strong Widow map. I think he's disappointed that we didn't get to see what he can do on that map. And frankly, in my opinion, just after the showing on Route 66, I don't know if Deadlock Gang would have wanted to take it to that map. No, I think that would have been a really uphill battle after losing well and then having to make a comeback on Lighthouse and then on Ruins. All right, so that's the that's going to be the first two maps down. Ben, by the way, is up 2-0 in the series. And we'll be going to a third and potentially final map on Hollywood when we come back.
could always use more heroes. Hello everyone, and welcome to Hollywood, where dreams come true, potentially, for one of our two teams. Ban, by the way, is up two maps in the series. This is, if they win, this will be the last one. They'll go on to the semifinals against the winner of Weed Stop on Land versus Los Muertos, which starts in about 25 minutes. Um, we're... Very excited to see how this map plays out. Is Deadlock Gang going to get some momentum going? Are they going to be able to start bringing it back? Is Ban, by the way, going to keep their pretty impressive lead going? And the thing is, this is this is do or die. Like you said, if Deadlock Gang can't step it up a little bit right here, then they're not going to be going any further. And I'd like to see a couple more maps of Overwatch. I don't know about you. But I would love to see some more Overwatch, so I, I'm really rooting for Deadlock Gang on this one. There's no such thing as too much Overwatch. But we're seeing Breath come out for Ban, by the way. They're swapping main tanks. Uh, no subs for Deadlock Gang. And Deadlock Gang will be defending first here on Hollywood. Now, tell me, at if you're... If you are banned by the way right now, where you're in the quarterfinals, you've won the first two maps, you've done pretty well. You haven't necessarily get, you haven't been given up a single point yet, neither on the first map on the payload or on either of the control point maps. <clears throat> Do you play around a little bit? Take it easy here. Uh, no, I think they're going to keep focused because if they do win, they're moving on to the semifinals tomorrow, and they're not going to have really time to practice, so they need to keep the foot on the gas. Pedal to the metal, that's what Lokai says. Look at that right there. Starting things off big with the kill onto Danger Man. Most likely will be brought back by Kirigiri. 
But as long as Lokai can keep an eye on where he got that kill, he can do something like that. Taking Vectris out of the fight as well. That's multiple kills and stepping upon the Widowmaker allowed, just opening the door for his team here. Now he's trying to get the kill on to Kiragiri or Vectris as he did get rezzed up. It's not going to do too much though. Ben, by the way, a very quick take on point A. Yeah, this should just be clean up for this fight. I don't think Deadlock Hank's going to be able to get enough bodies back in to make a meaningful contest. Yeah. And by the way, they're going to have a... <clears throat> not only that, but they're going to have a lot of freedom to move forward because Lokai is sitting up there with that Widow's Kiss just waiting to find a couple of easy heads to click. Yeah, the sniper duel between Widowmaker and Ana is something that Lokai is trying to recreate uh, pretty much scene for scene. <laughs> Just that uh, was a little bit more of a, uh, more... <clears throat> we will see. Ben, by the way, move pretty comfortably into the streets phase, the Hollywood phase, the wild, wild west, as some do call it. Our shadow okay. comes out, but it's not gonna be enough because it gets blocked up by, gla by um, gas roll there, and it completely shut down Death Blossom from a superhero as Foxer was just waiting for him to get stationary. Lokai is playing very aggressively. I think he's really feeling comfortable and confident in his his ability and his team's play right now. He's just completely uncontested, and he's taking full advantage of it. <clears throat> yep, they do have sights right now. Lokai did pop that ultimate right there. A lot of ultimates are on board for Band, or sorry, for Deadlock Gang. Grandpa Sun comes out from Band, by the way. There's the dragons, there's the combination. Only Gastrol in there, and he gets to stay alive. Due to a beautiful nade by Vectris, who is going to go down due to the hand of Mailman. Lokai going to grab the other support, and now Deadlock Gang in a bit of a tight spot as that payload gets dangerously close to point two. Sparkle and Danger Man grabbing one each with their ultimates. It's not going to be enough. The respawns are not able to get in just yet. Sparkle and that baby diva has a Discord superhero. Ooh, there's a bit of a Widowmaker fight up here on top of the building. Lokai not able to come out on top as a superhero. He may have used the machine gun to do it. Other than that, he wasn't able... I'm sorry, Lokai was not able to come out on top. Superhero is tired of us talking about Lokai. <laughs> and he wants to uh, he wants to take over on the spotlight. And I respect that. He's really, really good first showing. And we'll see if he can keep up the pressure. He already has up the sights. So big advantage for Deadlock Gang coming into this next fight. They are going to be able to know where every single member of Band By The Way is. Guess what? He's blown on the point. Stalling it up for a little bit, but he's going to go down pretty quickly. Yep, and Loki went ahead and popped her, their, their sights as well. He knows exactly where a superhero is. Bit of a standoff between the two. Oh, finally gets a little bit of freedom. Superhero barely able to navigate past the headshot from Loki as he goes up onto the high ground to get a little more of a <clears throat> duel there. Big shatter coming out from glass from gas roll there. Down the point as he gets a nano boost after he the air shatter. Very important right there. Vector is keeping him alive. Danger Man takes Eternal Shiva out of the fight as Spurgle gets Mailman. And Deadlock Gang now finally able to get a bit of a defense going. But they got four minutes on the clock. Ben, by the way, has a lot of time to come back into this fight. Yeah, Ben, by the way, has a lot of time. They're also coming up on a lot of ultimates. And they don't have very much space to go. And that is a dangerous combination for Deadlock Gang. They really need to get a strong defense going, maybe get an early pick from a superhero, and kill some of the time on this clock. Yep. And, I'd and I personally, I would like to see a Zenyatta from Deadlock Gang just because the dragon grab combo is on the table, and it's coming up close. It's pretty much the only thing to keep you alive if they get your whole team is that Zenyatta. Another big Earth Shatter. Oh! Yeah. Avery get underneath the shield of breath there, so he does get the kill. He's gonna go ahead and get him taken out by Grumpy Zero. Gets a little bit over aggressive there at the end of that fight. Ben, by the way, getting the kills that they need. Bit of a Rapid. nail in the coffin there with that Graviton from Fox and mixed in with those dragons. Back onto the point, Superhero able to grapple there, but it's not gonna be enough. Kiri trying to get a res, but a little punch from Fox who says, no ma'am. That's not gonna be your story today. But it looks like Deadlock Gang will be able to get on point for a bit of a contest. The Shatter goes down, the Diva Bomb's out, Fox gets taken, and Lokai looking to even the scales and push that payload all the way in.
Yeah, that Earth Shatter from Breath totally denied uh, Sparkle from getting back into her mech after the bomb, which would have given Deadlock another couple seconds to get some people back to the point. It's the little things. So they're going to end their attack with 2 minutes and 42 seconds left on the clock. A very healthy time bank for them to work with. But... As we've seen from the past two maps, Ben, by the way, is going to be looking to not even need that time bank. And they're going to be trying to shut Deadlock Gang down right here, right now, in these next four minutes. And I'm interested to see what Deadlock Gang decides to do. Because you have to know that Loki is going to be bringing out the Widow. He wants to counter a superhero, Sphera, which is a popular pick on this map. So... Ad, if you are Deadlock Gang, what do you do to get in into Loki's face? They tried diving in, but it just didn't work out in their favor the way they wanted to. So what, what strategy do you go to? Well, on Route 66, the sight lines are much longer than on this map. So Widow can play farther back and out of dive range, really. So I, I would like to see them, Deadlock Gang, try it again. Maybe be a little bit more aggressive. Maybe see a Genji come out. Genji's pretty effective at helping put pressure on a Widow with a Winston. Or they just need a superhero maybe to go back onto the Widow. Um, he's doing pretty decent to start off with. And then I think Deadlock Gang just lost a lot of their momentum on the defense. And they never really got a chance to have too much of a kind of standard Widow duel. Or if they, we'll see if they're able to bring that back, or if they go to a different strategy. Superhero, however, once again on that Sombra, looking to scope out what the team has going on. Other than that, they will have Danger Man off of the main tank roll, or off of the tank roll, and he's going to put himself onto a Hanzo. Spamming in those arrows, looking for the Grab Dragon themselves. Early charge in from Brett. He's going to take Gas Roll out of the fight. And now Deadlock Gang is in a bit of a... A rough position here, man. Man taking Sparkle out and losing your main tank so early is a rough thing to push through. Yeah, for a first pick, that's usually not someone that you'd be too excited about losing. And it, losing anyone hurts, but your main tank hurts especially. Just all the kills in that kill feed are red. Ben, by the way, great first defense. And they've killed about a minute so far. 25% of the way there. They're able to catch Deadlock Gang a bit off guard there on their first push through. Gastro, however, trying to keep the shield up for his team as they push over to the left and try and go behind the point. Anna, however, Vectress getting a little bit stuck behind as Mailman takes Superhero out of the fight. Thankfully, Soma is a hero that can run a little bit quicker, but nobody's doing anything about Lokai. Yeah? Lokai's just... Lokai get, does get taken down. The first kill from Deadlock Gang on this entire offense. Whatever Danger Man did there, he needs to do a lot more of <laughs> coming into the next couple of fights because they only have about two and a half minutes to get to the point, and they have to go all the way. I think they were really looking to get a Grab Dragon going, but Sparkle is not getting a lot of charge, not getting a lot of damage in, and is taking pretty slow to build up this grav and at the rate she's going she might not even get the grav by the time overtime comes in it can be difficult sometimes to get that zarya ultimate up if the pick battle isn't prominent there grumpy zero getting a good kill on the kirigiri at the beginning of this fight so deadlock gang down a healer there and that's going to allow lokai to just push straight up danger man does get a shot onto lokai but it wasn't a headshot and lokai was able to finish out the kill more time going off the clock for Deadlock Gang. They really seem to be struggling to get a good push together without someone getting picked, like Vectrius. Uh, losing your Ana, that hurts. That does, and, and then right after you lose your Hanzo. They really can't catch a break here. You can see the team just kind of standing around, waiting, waiting to get everybody together. Try to get some, some momentum going, anything going. They're down to 70 seconds. And not to mention that Lokai just popped sacks, so they have, or sorry, sights, so they have wall hacks there. Gassy Roll popping in off of that nano, or off of that coalescence from Kirigiri. 
Hammer down comes out there, doesn't find anybody, and that's not the same story for Gasfield. He does get taken out. Grumpy Zero with the tire. Takes Vectorus out of the fight. Brett taking Sparkle out as well. Dragons come through, but they don't find anybody to take down. Brett getting mighty low. He has a double pocket on him as a superhero has to back out of the fight. 41 seconds left. And they're going to get a regroup and maybe one more fight here. Yeah, they really need a superhero's EMP to come up big. Foxer is the only person on Ben, by the way, with the grav. So I think if a superhero can EMP Zarya, and then that'll take her down to half health. If they can finish her off, they're really going to need that if they don't want to get stuck here. Not to mention that Sparkle is about to have a grab of her own, but there goes the hack. They're looking at Foxer. They know that Foxer has that grab. Superhero finally able to get the kill. There comes the grab from Sparkle. The damage, however, is just barely not there. A lot of members getting very low, and here it is. The Earth Shatter comes out, but it is a non-issue as he gets taken out immediately. Brett is going to get taken out by Danger Man, who has gone from 40 to 92% on that ultimate after finding those four kills. Deadlock's Desperation, they turned it into points. That's the first time they've been on the board for this entire series. And add, they're not only on the board, but five of them are on fire. Yeah, that last push, they really, they threw everything they had at it, and it worked. Loki again, just getting picks. This is this is where the, the sight lines kind of open up a little bit. You get a little more distance, uh, you would say, from the Widowmaker. They yeah, Widows have so much room to work with. Getting Dove off of that top nudge there, but I do believe Danger Man popping the Dragon Strike from spawn, trying to find a couple, and he does find Grumpy Zero. Brett getting pushed around and bullied by Gassy Roll here on that Winston, and still able to find kills onto other heroes while it's happening. Vectorus in a bit of a tight spot. The Reinhardt swinging away the Discord Orb onto that Lucio, and he will fall. Loki finding a clean and easy body shot there. Ben, by the way, did win the fight, but Deadlock Gang got a pretty respectable distance on their payload. They got it about halfway through point two. So now they're going to change up. Kir Kirigiri is going to go over to the Mercy. And they're going to try to get some more. Keep up the momentum. Keep up the pressure on Lokai. They got 60 seconds to see what they can do with it. They are going to be taking the flank behind the bank. There goes the dive onto the supports. Grumpy Zero immediately going to fall. But a charge to respond from Brett as he grabs himself a quick double. And they trap Burkle inside of that room. Be able to boost out, but... Not much else is going to be coming from Deadlock Gang right now. Danger Man trying to get the upper hand in the Widowmaker battle, but he pretty soon has to back out as Lokai once again gets up onto that top spot. Yeah, Breath really wanted to come out swinging from the gate. This is the first map he gets subbed in for the series. You know, he really wants to do good. Show his team that he can, he can handle it. And he's doing a fantastic job. Dive comes in from Gas Roll, not really getting any kills. I didn't get any kills, but it was able to dislodge Loki for a quick second. Ooh, falling quite low. Loki in that <laughs> Widowmaker battle with Danger Man, and guess who wants? It's Danger Man. So he's going to give himself, his team a little bit of extra room to run around. But there's a Rip Tire, there's a Graviton looking for a good number of kills, but nothing happens out of it. The shield did come through, I believe. <laughs> Oh no, sorry, the sound barrier came through from Vectorus, as well as the Valkyrie from Kirigiri. Sparkle with the self-destruct, but not going to find too much. As Mailman saves his transcendence for the end of this fight, making sure that nobody can take his team down in overtime. Now is when it counts. Deadlock Gang fighting for their lives tooth and nail here. Lokai taking Kirigiri and Vectorus both out of the fight. Those both supports. There's nobody to heal, and everybody dies. The timer burns down, and Ben, by the way, will continue on to the semifinals versus the winner of WSOL versus Los Muertos, which starts in eight minutes. That is almost perfect timing, and they're going to be walking into that match with whomever they, they match up against. They are going to be walking into it with their chest puffed, their chins held high, because they it was an impressive showing by Ben, by the way, and... Good on Deadlock Gang for sticking together. And God, they were so close so many times.
Yeah, it was a very valiant effort from Deadlock Gang. Um, unfortunately, they aren't going to get too much, but it was a close series. And, you know, I'm sure Deadlock Gang is going back to their team locker room and they're saying, you know, oh, if we had if we had Fat Mike, you know, could have went differently and probably just asking a lot of a lot of what ifs. Yeah, it's, you know, Deadlock Gang has a lot of members who have graduated and, you know, gone up into those beautiful diamond ranks that we all hope to achieve. <laughs> but having that happen, they've lost all of those big impact DPS, and that's what we saw from Loki tonight. Yep, so that's going to be a wrap for us. Uh, we have two more matches starting at 9 p.m. We have We Sample Land versus Los Muertos, which is going to be on Twitch TV slash Direboid, D-I-R-E-B-O-Y-D. He's one of Owlet's illustrious admins and actually the head of productions. He's put a lot of effort into getting these playoffs together. And then the other 9 p.m. game will be Furious Unicorns versus Click4Heads.exe on twitch.tv slash young spaceship with no O in the young. And then at 10 p.m., we have Microsoft Excel versus Rinse and Shine back here on the main channel. Uh, a lot of great matches. Definitely going to be something worth watching. And then tomorrow, we'll have the semifinals between all the winners today. And then Sunday, we're going to have the grand finals of season one of Outlets. Whew, I'm ready for that. I think we're all ready for it. Uh, everyone's <laughs> excited. Everyone wants to be there. Everyone wants to be holding the trophy. I mean, there's no trophy, but you know, there's a there's a mental trophy. You know what? We got a lot of people who are really good at Photoshop. I'm sure that we can we can get some photos out there of the whole team holding the trophy. I'm sure that can happen. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, the London Spitfire, all the faces replaced with you know whoever wins. After yeah. they won the grand finals against Philadelphia Fusion. But you have to keep I... the haircuts. Have to keep the haircuts. Oh, for sure. Yeah, definitely. All right. So that's going to be a wrap for us. Um, go check out the other playoff matches. And congratulations to Ben, by the way, for winning. Yeah. This has been Shadow 24, an ad with the Owlette. And we hope you guys have a wonderful night. Make sure you do hop over to those channels and check out those matches. And a very special thanks to Hoda Hori for running the camera and doing all the production for us tonight.